Hi everyone, uh, we're back with another retrospective and today with me is the uh, Wayland KD Goals Champion. Uh, hi, can you introduce yourself and say uh, a little bit about yourself? Hi, yes, I'm uh, Meven, I am uh, live in France and I've been uh, KD users for years and years and uh, since 2019 I've been uh, involved in contribution. Uh, at the beginning it was in uh, with the goal of uh, usability and productivity that was led by uh, NetGram back then. And uh, since then, my involvement has been increasing. And, uh, yeah. And now you're the champion for Wayland, correct? And now, and yes, and for since 2019 and the uh, Milan Academy, I've been uh, the Wayland uh, champion, gold champion. Excellent. And can you just uh, uh, give a quick summary of what Wayland is about? Simply put, it's a replacement for Xorg. So Xorg is the thing that uh, organizes your windows and uh, handles your screen and let applications talk, uh, be displayed on the screen. And Wayland is a new implementation of that kind of software. So it's, it's a huge replacement. And there are a lot of reasons that are very important. Well, for end users, the important part are that Wayland is modern compared to Xorg, so it brings a lot of uh, improvements. In particular, well, some some of the reasons are uh, rendering. Wayland is way better at rendering a good uh, good images. Uh, for instance, uh, on my own laptop, I have sometimes some tearing while playing some video on X11, and it won't happen on Wayland, for instance. And we are, there are security improvements, there are performance improvements. So with performance, you have better battery life as, as well, and uh, and a lot of uh, better devices support embedded devices, so it's easier to handle uh, tab tablets and so on. And so it's wide ranging. Okay, thanks. Um, and is it something that just the um, KD community cares about, or is it a wider transformation? Uh... Yes, that's a good question. That's a very wide. Uh, that's a wider uh, transition. In fact, it's, it has been uh, started uh, more than ten years ago already by uh, X11 developers. Uh, that 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 with their experience thought that it was needed to go somewhere else te technically. So they designed it a new architecture for uh, how to organize uh, the screen and how applications can display on screens, basically. And from then on, it just uh, grew uh, slowly and, and steadily. Uh, so uh, in KDE and in Plasma, we care about Wayland, but other free software uh, environment also are switching to them or, or devices like, uh, like Gamescope is using uh, a Wayland renderer, for instance, uh, Wayland archi architecture. And, 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 so, and, and then since it's about applications as well, applications also have to care about it. Uh, at least it, it, in, in, to some extent, if they use a common framework, they don't have to pay much attention, attention to it. But uh, they will. Well, a lot of applications need uh, more more than just what the framework offers. And and for those cases, uh, the, you may need to have adaptations also. You mentioned that Gamescope uses Wayland, but that's not a KDE project, right? That's the thing that's running on no. the Steam Deck, right? Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So gaming applications and uh, whatever KDE application is, either desktop or mobile. Uh, so it's in many places, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so original, like. Uh, Like it's very used in uh, embedded uh, devices for because it, compared to X11, it's lighter weight, so you can put uh, a well-on display server on 
on smaller devices with less uh, resources basically so on uh, so in cars for instance you that, that's the kind of things that you would want to use rather than x11 uh, and since you don't have you don't need many features of Wayland on, on those kind of devices that's uh, really common edge case in the industry currently. Uh, you mentioned that um, it's a bigger transformation uh, that uh, is uh, industry-wide, so to speak, and maybe it, it already has been happening for a while. Can you, can you tell us how it looked like when the goal began a couple of years back and how it looks now? So what was the change basically for Wayland support? Well, from from my perspective, from my point of view as a users, uh, as a user, uh, I remember that uh, back then the multi-screen wasn't really working. That you didn't have uh, primary selections. That's a middle click pasting. You couldn't do screen capture. You couldn't do uh, video capture. There were stability issues. You would be in, in console and you would click on a link. It wouldn't bring up uh, Firefox. Uh, back then, and, and that's all. All those other things are, are talked then there are fixed now. So you can have video capture. You have better window activations and, and so on. Uh, and and that's just the top of my mind. That's from the top of my mind. Yeah, that that all sounds great. Uh, so would you say that did the goal? achieve its purpose? Yeah, I'd say yes, but there are some caveats. Uh, the, the goal, well, there was already a well on effort within uh, the KDE community and, and the goal just reinforced it. So, and, um, and, and brought some, some light to it to this effort so it brought some more people and in interest to it and 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 now we are we are reaching a point where uh plasma wayland is is rich is reaching better quality i'd say so most of of the features are here most of the it is mostly stable but it's not but it won't fit a hundred percent of of users use cases Okay, uh, so I, 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 the the goal was really overreaching, overreaching, um, and uh, that's the purpose of goals to 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 reach for for very high. Yeah, reach for the stars. Uh, so the goal accelerated the work on Wayland yes. and put the focus on on Wayland. Um, so even if it's not ready yet, it's probably in a better place now than if it weren't selected as the goal. Would you, would you agree with that? Well, I would argue that it's ready for a wide range of users, like for, for users that care more, that have a, a laptop and that or a single screen, they want to have a practitioner scaling, for instance, you would have, you will have a better experience in, in Wayland. And there are a bunch of cases like this where Wayland will just provide a better experience to users already. Uh, as long as you don't need some applications that have really poor compatibility, as long as you don't have uh, edge cases, well, uh, other configuration that is not as supported currently with Wayland, uh, you'll be you'll be fine. Okay, that's good. And um, for those users that don't yet have the uh, the setup that is currently 100% working in Wayland, what can they do? Um, I, I I know the community is active on on Twitter, on Reddit, on other social media, on our metrics channels. How can they um, help with either submitting bugs or the use cases that don't work yet? How was the best approach for those users? Yeah, bring up 
bringing up uh, their concern, their 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 issues is a great way uh, to is is a good thing to do because it helps developers uh, focus, so we don't lose the ball that in the end it's our users we want to please, and uh, and and that's valuable. Also, we might have information about how to uh, work around your issues. So it's or other users might might as well. So talking about it on on Reddit is great. A reporting bug is great as well, but it re it requires a bit more effort. Mm -hmm. uh, you are very active, I would say, on on KDE's Reddit, looking for. Uh, people talking about their Wayland uh, use cases, issues, etc. Uh, is that a helpful way to go directly to the uh, to the user? Say, I'd say yes, because like you can really feel uh, real frustrations because many users will talk about the same subjects or because threads will become po very popular about some subjects. subjects so you, you can really see what what users are expecting or, or where are they focus. And so you can try to match your your work uh, as a developer like my, or, or raise the attention of other developers as well. And, uh, and sometimes also on Reddit, you don't have just, uh, and sometimes you have also uh, users that thank uh, developers and it's great that for developers to get motivation. And, so that's another reason why why it's great to uh, get involved and and uh, on on Reddit and, and and be part of the community that uh, that talks that that uh, exchange. An active member, right? Exactly. Yeah. Um, since this series is a bit of a retrospective about the goal, um, is there anything looking back that you would say you'd do differently as a goal champion to to help with the goal. Um, yeah, the 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 goals can be we really, uh, over achieving. So what the most important things you need to find is when you are involved. Well. When you are involved in a goal, is to find people motivated, and so you all. Uh, uh, I wish I had done a better job trying to reach more users or, or contributors, uh, uh, and to achieve that, there is uh, the main re main, main uh, way is to communicate, is to uh, write blog posts and and encourage and and explain things and, and write documentation and, and so on. And that's, or oh, that's something I wish I had done more of. And, uh, and that another thing that I wish I had done better is to manage things. I mean, uh, try to be a project manager that is, uh, uh keep the, uh, keep a list of things that you want to focus on and try to prioritize things that you know are needed to be worked on. That's the, uh, the, on the, on our wiki, for instance, we have the well on showstopper page and, and that's a good tool, for instance, uh, there, and it needs to be, uh, maintained and, 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 and try to get your goal members to to participate in that, for instance, in in the uh, Q6 porting uh, Q6 porting effort, there are, there is a good uh, organization there, and, and that's something to emulate uh, on your goal. Yeah, those are good. Uh, I think um, ideas in general for anyone who uh, thinks about becoming the next gold champion as the process will start soon. Do you have any other general tips for, for 
those people that m might become the next champions? Well, you can prepare yourself to invest some time, and uh, and but still you you can remember that uh, that's not a, a single person effort. That's uh, really important to see yourself as part of the community and 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 uh, find the and find the people to work with uh, on your goal. And that's the uh, most important uh, uh, tip I could say. Okay, great. And uh, lastly, what are your plans for yourself after uh, we have new goals and, and the Wayland goal will go uh, you know, out of focus? Uh, well, uh, I plan to still uh, stay active on the Wayland issues and uh, on my other contributions. And uh, we'll see what the, the new goals are and whether I can be of help to them. And because I've, uh, I've done, that, it, done that in the past and I'll be very happy to participate in, in, in someone else's uh, uh, effort or, or I'm not being a, a, a champion, but rather a, a participant. And uh, yeah, and that's my plan about okay. my uh, KD activity. <laughs> okay, great. And I'm sure uh, the community will be happy uh, for for you continuing working on on Wayland and and other uh, related issues. Uh, so thank you for that, and thank you for being our champion for the last couple of years. And thank you very much for uh, the interview. You're welcome. Bye. Bye.